Okay, hello everyone again. Welcome back to yet another run. We're doing wait for okay, let's wait for OBS. Now it's doing okay. I think I think we're fine. So uh things I've realized. Nothing too big of about the game. Uh we're gonna continue with our runs. I really wanna do the claw combo. Uh I'll try to use uh all the weapons later, as I said. For now, let's just go with this one. And we still have one temple missing from the bottom ones. Let's just try it. <clears throat> okay. What options do we have? I really want to go for that there, because... Oh. I, I would miss out on the upgrade, but... I feel that getting a much better weapon in the first place is playing better. I'd be wrong. So we'll have to we'll have to do many more runs to figure those tiny things out. Um yeah so from last streams I mean I've added an overlay to my camera. Hope you enjoy that. I know it's no big deal but hey trying to keep it you know relatively simple still good pleasant to the eye if it's very bothersome like if you have the green thing around my camera really bothers you i might try to go for something else or like a thinner layer maybe so feel free to comment on those things as well and as you see for now the the temple seems fine we have the spear serpents there uh, gotta be careful with those because they are the same as the. Do you know the trap where the guy stabs you with a spear? So, like, they have quite a long range and you don't realize it at first. And it is. I feel that it is very easy to miscalculate on that and gets, get ton of da tons of damage because of it. Uh, these guys go invulnerable, invulnerable after a while to create, to spawn those minions you saw. So gotta be careful with those. At least it's not the corruption thing that we had with the other temple. I don't know, like, I, I feel that that is much more... Hmm, how should I put it? Permissive? No. Much more, I don't know. Basically, it allows you to dodge it at least, so you're you're not locked into it. Okay, worshipers cloak. <laughs> wow, I'm really glad that I always get this one because I feel like it's one of the best things you can get for every every single run, <laughs> and I'm getting it all the time. So just makes me happy. Um, that door could close. Makes me. No, no, okay. Okay. I mean, I don't believe it, but hey. I I'm not complaining. So there we go, first coffer. Minus 15% damage in darkness. Uh, amazing. Okay, super happy with the start of the run. Let's see if we get as good of a weapon as we go charms or... No, oh, relics, sorry. Sorry. Sorry for calling those charms. I I guess I really have the um, like I really got the word embedded into my head uh because of games like Diablo. Boom. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that. I think that's the first time. Oh my. Okay. One second. That's the first time I think we see that big guy. Oh. Okay. We can use the trap on him. Now that's some damage. 
Okay, so he can jump towards you like a a nice leap. Deal tons of damage. Sometimes you gotta learn the hard way, but you gotta learn nonetheless. Okay, so what do we have? Ooh. Okay, so I promised. <laughs> I promised. And I, I think that I really have to own to that, like, I owe you this one. Because I did the run with knives. It was lost to the, you know, Neverland. And here we go. Here are the knives. Here is our weapon. So let's change weapons, okay? Can't play close forever. Weighted blades, main weapon, throwing. Uh, they're pretty good. Can maintain some distance, but still stay close up. It's quite funny uh, how you have to juggle it. But it's it's tons of fun. It's tons of fun still. Projectile damage increases based on the distant travel before impact. So you have to stay as far away as possible, but careful because those don't travel indefinitely. Basically, there is a threshold. I'll show it in a second. 20% damage if a secondary weapon is a dagger. Amazing. That's my secondary weapon. And 30% damage against poison, poisoned enemies, which I will do my best to get a poison dagger, but Mm, well, that's that's just luck at this point. So, sure, offer gold, go for it. I really want to try this. So, see, this is this is what I'm talking about. Like, if you take a good look, basically it stops at the point, and this is your distance. Like, it won't go any farther. Uh, I mean, calculating from here to the statue. So good to know. Let's continue. Uh, don't need healing. Do need cold. We'll need another weapon. I mean, I think our. Ooh. Do you see what I see? That's that's the best route for us. Attributes, weapon, everything. Yeah, it's all in one. Okay, so let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, this one. Okay, the ones I had didn't have as much damage. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Get the gold. Sorry for going slowly, but <laughs> that's as fast as you can go in this game. Oh, wait. Okay, let's see. Ooh, poison thingy. <gasps> Whoa. My bad. My bad. Angry statues everywhere. So let's kill that guy. Let's kill that. Ooh. Let's kill that guy. Ooh, didn't have enough time. Aha, but... The minion you summoned killed you. Jokes on you. Uh, that's activated, so gotta be careful. Hmm, is that poison? Yes, it is. You take damage while you're standing there. Um, you know me, for science. For science. Even if I fail this run, I mean... I'd rather learn the bosses and then fail less in the long run than not learn them now because I'm too afraid of trying stuff and then regret it. Which I, f I don't know, I feel it just prevents you from enjoying the game at, you know, as it was intended. Um... In bow. Last time bow did help me, but I didn't have a range weapon. This time I feel I can go without one, so I'll get the constitution, but you do you. Completely your choice there. Not a huge fan of changing weapons for now. Um, You know, commitment and stuff. Amazing. I'm really loving the, the damage here. Weekend enemies. Uh, found out that there are tons more ways of inflicting this, and same thing for critical. Uh, we'll figure that out during the runs, but 
I don't know, I've, I've watched a couple of uh, YouTube channels lately to see, you know, how their runs were doing, what things they encountered, because I was a little bit curious, you know, spoiling myself, but eh, still fun. And again, not going overboard, like I never, I never watched the bosses to come, so to say. So we're fine. Uh, venomous fangs, main weapon claw, uh, poison tax. No, thank you. I'm committed to my dearest and beloved throwing knives. So in this case, uh, we still have the attributes here, but we can't get them if we go for the weapon. So that's why I'm going relic this this gold weapon. If anyone wanted to know my thought proce process. So yeah, not spoiling my uh, not spoiling the bosses, not spoiling the new monsters, but I do love to watch other people's content. So it seems that people are having tons of fun. Like I've seen, I've seen one curse that would be super detrimental to me and to my runs, because there was this guy that got a curse where he couldn't perfect dodge, which I love basing some of my. Like most of my builds I've done until now, I've uh, based around that. So if I got that curse, it would be a very bad time for me. Especially, oh wait, this guy, this guy's new and he's got two attacks. Okay, learn the hard way. Because that's how we do it. Okay, so this was the bridge that went back. There was another room there. Mm, not interested for now. Let's. Uh, I really want to see the bosses. Like I'm super curious to see. Ooh. So I was as I was saying before I interrupted myself. I really want to see the bosses, even if I fail at them. Still want to see them. I'm still super curious about their mechanics. Okay, so 33% all healing effects. Super good perception, super good. Uh, damage against weakened enemies, not using that at the moment. 100% uh, to all healing effects and dexterity. Ooh. I mean, it costs much more. But this is just brutal if we if we were to get something that could heal us oh that that would be amazing i'm getting it is that basically so by the way i found out about uh multipliers in this game and most effects that you see like that 100 percent is plain multiplicative so for example if you life steal one hp that's two now if you life steal 10 guess what that's 20 so they went for the, you know, it's all multiplicative, because why not? I still haven't found out if uh, the, you know, sometimes you see your weapon and it's like 12 plus 2, 12 plus 3, plus three where 3 represents the damage you're doing in the ailment or in another element. So ailment I mean by like poison or whatever. And in that case, I still haven't figured out if that is multiplied too, but we'll get there. Don't worry, we'll get there. So almost at my first curse. Mm, haven't been that lucky this run. Haven't found any way to remove them, but I'm getting super beefy weapons and stuff. So I I really can't complain. Just look at that damage. Just look at that damage. Ooh. Jumpy, jumpy. Don't jump at me. Do you... Okay, don't you know that that's rude? Seriously. Okay, lightning attacks. Uh, saw a guy, like the, the run I saw, the guy was using a sky hammer, like one of these. 
and the damage is just obscene. You know, one of those jumps where you... Okay, let me just... Mm, I'd rather get the minus corruption, but let me just demonstrate it, you know, science and all. Um, so this here, like, charge and boom, that deals insane damage. And you can break walls with it, so I might be lucky. Uh, maybe? No, that's not a secret passage. But if I get lucky, I'll show it off, because it's amazing. Uh, what do we have here? What is this? This Is is this an upgrade? Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's an upgrade room. Yes, it is. Uh, crit damage for the dagger, no thanks. More damage to my knives. See, that's that what I was talking about, like 18 plus 7. And is 7 this here? Or, you know, we still don't know. Because this one, for example, doesn't have an ailment damage. It, like this poison here is applied on top of uh, like this is a this is a multiplier for sure, but I still have to figure out where this is coming from. So maybe it's like stats. I don't know. Uh one. <laughs> the upgrades are quite expensive, and I still want to try and get the dagger there. So no, thank you. I guess. Okay, first curse. Fingers crossed. Let's see if we get a super bad one. Uh, malicious flora. Ooh. Living roots. Those are the guys that, well, you've seen them. Uh, basically, the roots that slap the floor. Well, I mean, it's cool. Just have to be more careful with these. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, okay, that. Saw some gold there. And a trap. Let's see. What is that? My god. Just die already. See? That what I was talking about. Like the damage is amazing. Uh, and now, so my claw, oh, sorry, <laughs> claw, got too used to those. Um, what I was talking about is, uh, my knives are dealing tons of damage right now, but seriously, uh, compared to the two-hander, that's just the initial hit. Like, my knives deal that at the third hit, which is the charged one, which is the one that's wasting stamina. So, it's pretty good. Uh, more perception. Um, I don't really need the magic find right now. So I'd rather get some health. I know it's not much. But sometimes... Like, this game has show, show me that... Sometimes just a teeny tiny bit of health really matters. Ooh, okay. Okay, big guy. Get poisoned. And die. Perfect. Three kills. There we go. Okay, so here we get some attributes. I'm really not sure what to do here, because, um... Well, now I am sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the health, I'm not gonna get the treasure find. And we'll be okay. Because, as I said, we don't need much more treasure find, because this run is about to end anyway. And, yeah, as you see, it's just more gold, weapon, done. Like, that's the run. So why, w why would you bother? Is what I'm saying. If this was a longer run, like later in game, you can do this run starting with the first boss, then doing the second one. That's that's when you get it. Okay, explode those guys. Explode this guy. Uh, 
And there we go. More dexterity. Please, please give it to me. All the dexterity. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can take it. I can. So let's really hope that with the rerolls I have, I get at least some weapon that can poison. Um. Yeah. If I don't get it, well, jokes on me. That's the part of uh, luck to it. Ooh, that that was my bad. Should never evade like that. Got a critical there. Not sure how or why. And I wish I. Okay. Can't destroy that. There we go. Oh my god. What is that guy doing? Okay, we still don't know what that attack does. And that's bad. <laughs> okay, weapon. Let's see. Two curses of the boss, that's fine. The curse I got is really good. I mean, so far I haven't gotten any curses that ruined a run for me. And Again, I have the feeling that I'm getting super lucky with it. Yeah, crit there again. Is it always critting at the end of a combo? I th think so. Yes, it is. So it is always a crit. Okay, that guy is doing something again. Oh, okay, it's doing something to the monsters. Is it healing them? Is it like, ah, oh, the effect is so unclear in this case. Or maybe I'm not paying enough attention. We'll, we'll figure it out, don't worry. Okay, so, moment of truth. Serpent Blade, 20% uh, critical damage, 1% damage per point of constitution. <laughs> Well, that's not much. Deals critical damage while stamina is depleted. No, thank you, but I will take it for the poison. And I can pay it in gold, which means I don't have to get another curse. And yeah, it's amazing. Could have got, could have gotten the all the benefits before though, but doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. Ah. Uh, should be more careful in uh, in the long run, though. Okay, so I've uh, never faced this guy before. I'm officially scared. That explodes. What? Okay, anytime you hit it. Wow. Okay. Um. So. Big advice here. First, don't get hit by the skulls and stand back. Okay, so this is... This boss is like the complete opposite of what I recommended to do with the other one. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's so easy to get hit. You really need all your... Yep, you really need all your evasion. You really need it. Because the moment you can't evade, you're done.
my god. I'm getting completely obliterated here. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. I'm kind of starting to see the pattern in the skulls. And as I say that, I get slapped for an incredible amount of damage. But see, you can... Okay, going for it. Yeah. Um, so, okay. We have a couple of things to analyze there. Even though it was quite fast and weird, we still have some, some things to take into account. So, things I realized about this boss first run. Drop smites on the floor. Anytime you hit it. You hit it, it drops a mine. You hit it again, drops a mine. Guaranteed. I think those explode instantly. I might be wrong. He also drops permanent mines on the field. Anytime you like stop on those, they explode. If you don't touch them, you're fine. And I think there is a limit to them, because he drops six at a time. And uh I like if that was true, like if there was no limit to them, the whole arena would be covered in them, which wasn't the case. And then the skull spam is a little bit counterintuitive because I it kind of reminds me of the boss I saw in Nier. Not sure if anyone has played those games, but they like threw balls at you basically, like red balls. And um you would evade those by basically staying far away because it gave you more margin to like move left or right. This is not the case. Like they're too close, you'll get hit. It's too hard in that sense. So what I would do is uh, wait. Like they come in va in waves, so I would have at least two dodges ready to dodge those sideways. So basically, I would dodge. Um, yeah, let me get back. Let me get back. So what I would do is... Um, oh, okay, wait one second. One exploration available, six new blessings available. There we go. So what I would do is, if there are this thing here, I dodge towards them, but diagonally, like this. Because if you do this, uh, they'll just hit you again. And if you do this, you'll just get slapped with the next one. So you really got to do the either this here and do a perfect dodge through them, or do this. Wow, it's so hard to, for some reason, to dodge diagonally. You really have to stay like this. So you would have to do that, and then you debate them too. Well, that those are the best advices I have, at least. And anyway, that was the run. I hope you enjoyed that. That was the third boss of, of the game. And from now on, it's just doing next temples, seeing the next bosses, and having fun with it. So thanks very much for watching. Subscribe if you like it. Uh, tons of new content coming. I'm going to do a review for this game as, long, as soon as we finish the run. Not so, Sorry, not the run, but uh, <laughs> the game. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have fun. Okay.